Now that we've added a second button, let's edit our event handler code so that when the user clicks button number two, a message gets printed out in the output window as well. We'll edit the code so that each button will print out a different message. Let's review the relevant code so far. We've got a button named button one and an event listener named button listener. This listener is of the action listener type. This means that it can be notified whenever an action on a component happens. To allow button listener to be notified when button one is clicked, we'll have to associate button listener to button one. That's what this line is doing. Using the add action listener method, we are associating button listener to button one so that button listener will get notified when button one is clicked. Simply creating the action listener object is not enough. We still have to actually tell the listener which event source it should listen to. Otherwise, it won't do anything. You can think of this line as the one that connects a specific event listener to a specific event source. So when button one gets clicked, button listener gets notified. And once button listener is notified, it will call its action performed method and execute the statements inside it. The action listener object will automatically call this method when it gets notified of the click on button one. There's no need for us to write anything else. We don't need to write a line that explicitly calls the action performed method. As long as we've written everything correctly, our Java program will make sure that this method gets executed whenever button one is clicked. Okay, so now let's edit the contents of our setup button listeners method. Let's create another action listener named button listener two. So here we type action listener button listener two equals new action listener and then parentheses and then curly braces and a semicolon and then inside here we override the action performed method we type at override and then the method signature public void action performed action event ae and then curly braces for the method body and then inside the method body we just add a print statement system.out.printline and let's make this one print boop and then let's edit this other one so that it says b and finally we associate button listener 2 to button 2 by typing button 2 dot add action listener button listener 2 so button 1 is associated with button listener so this is what happens when button 1 is clicked while button 2 is associated with button listener 2 so this is what happens when button 2 is clicked so let's test this out java c java and then java the tester so if i click on button 1 beep gets printed out because that's what it says here then if i click on button 2 boop gets printed out because that's what it says here and that's it next we will edit the code so that we will actually just have one listener object for both buttons instead of two separate ones but each button will still print a different message we'll be able to achieve that by using if statements and the action event object so we'll finally get to see what this object is for and we will learn more about it in the next video